Alright, so uh, my next question is, as uh, you are playing the role of uh, the sister, right? Yeah. And you are the best friend, and you are the mom. So, uh, in case, if you have, I mean, if in case in real life, your brother is a, a gay, or, or yeah. your sister is a lesbian, or your best friend, or your son, so, I mean, would you accept them the way they are? Because in India, I mean, people have that kind of thinking yeah. mm -hmm. that, you know, we cannot accept it over here. Yeah. I mean, even if we accept, the uh, the people will society. not accept it. Yeah, yeah. The society will not accept it. So what do you have to say about that? So, uh, I also, do you want to say? <laughs> so there's also a dialogue in the show later on, if you go ahead and watch it, where I'm telling Mandira that, uh, you know, it's very easy to tell someone that, you know, how, ca how are you homophobic and why do you, why do you have anything against people who are gay? But when it happens to somebody that is in your family and when it's, it's, it doesn't happen it, if they are gay, you do feel a little uncomfortable, but, but the challenge is then to accept it. And, but there is discomfort, there is, because it's all new for us. And it's, it's, it, at least for the mentality here, it's very new. It's very, people haven't seen it much. That's why a show like this is obviously going to, you know, it's going to change, it's going to turn homophobics into accepting that, you know, this is what it is. And even if it happens to someone that is in your family, it's, it's okay, you have to deal with it. There will be discomfort, but you don't have to fight it, you know, it's, it's okay. It's, it's love eventually, it's just, it's love above, above all. So, there's... Um, I, I truly believe that everybody, every individual is just afraid of the unknown. And I think that that's what this is, the whole everybody... Um, has discomfort towards gay people because they don't understand it because it's the unknown and I truly believe that m the more that we as an industry and we as a society put it and make people aware of the issues that people face it becomes more known and less unknown and I think that helps driving all the fear away into what they are and more acceptance just comes out of that because the more you're used to it the more accustomed you are to it the easier it is for you to accept it and that's with every human nature and life in general I think so I think that's that's why this is so important yeah yeah I feel uh, society tends to become a little unforgiving uh, when it comes to uh, something out of the norm um, so yes, uh, in our country, of course, things like this uh, uh, come as a, a, a huge shock initially. Uh, it's easier to say something about someone else. Oh yeah, uska beta gay hai. Yeah, uska uh, he turned out to be a gay. Yeah, theek hai, chalo. But when it happens in your family, then uh, I'm sure it's going to come as a huge shock. And uh, the challenge then again, of course, uh, becomes uh, uh, how do you accept it? How do you uh, uh, deal with it with your relatives, with your friends, with your family, uh, people? Um, so yeah, I would say that uh, it's very difficult. And uh, I think this story um, helps you maybe understand a little bit of what an Indian family goes through. Uh, I think uh, our society needs to be a little more open and uh, forgiving <laughs> and accepting of differences and uh, ultimately when it comes to your own preferences, uh, the love for someone, I think uh, uh, love is really pure so uh, you know it should be accepted whatever it is. Alright, thank you so much. Thank you so Have much. a nice day and all the best. Thank, thank you. you. So Rommel and Jugal is really about acceptance. Uh, you know, we all have friends and family who are gay. And I think it's a very relevant uh, subject because, you know, I'm, in the eyes of the law, it's a criminal activity. And that's really absurd because we are now in 2017. So I thought that it was a very relevant subject to make uh, right now. And my producer Ekta was very gung-ho about it. And she's been wanting to make it as a film as well. And then when she wanted to launch this app, you know, uh, uh, she sent me the script and I thought it would be a wonderful, wonderful web series. Because uh, then, you know, 
like on film it would never pass censorship on television a channel would never let it uh, pass either so i think this was the perfect format to make it uh, having said that you know shakespeare doing shakespeare is always a challenge on screen i mean romeo and juliet has been done countless number of times uh, but this twist i thought worked really well because like i said you know we all ha we all know people in our circles who are gay and uh, i didn't want to make it a, a you know pretentious, pretentious oh i'm making a gay love story or trivialize it or make fun of it i wanted to treat it like a very mainstream love story uh, which is about two boys you know and i want people to forget that it's about two boys and treat them as two human beings ki yaar ab pyar to pyar hota hai ab ladke se ho ya ladki se ho क्या फर्क पड़ता है यू नो एवरीबडी इज मेड डिफरेंटली एवरीबडी लव्स डिफरेंटली एंड लव टू एंड सेंस जेंडर सो दैट्स व्हाट द थॉट इज बिहाइंड द शो ऑल राइट सो एज यू नो दैट इन आवर कंट्री यू नो अबाउट द थ्री सेंस एंड यस या सो व्हाट यू हैव टू से अबाउट दैट आई मीन व्हाट सो आई थिंक इट्स अ रिडिकुलस लॉ दैट शुड गो यू नो एंड आई मीन अ फ्यू इयर्स अगो द सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैड डीक्रिमिनलाइज्ड होमोसेक्सुअलिटी and that was a wonderful leap for the country and then suddenly they went back on it and recriminalized it and it makes absolutely no sense so i mean i think we should i mean you know i don't know i don't know what why the supreme court recriminalized it they should really really take this up because there are so many people who are unhappy about it i mean you know they're living lives in secret and why should they you know like barack obama said every person has the right to walk down the street holding the hand of someone they love you know and that's a right why should, it's a it should be a fundamental right yaar yeah. So as we know that Ekta Kapoor is a producer, so do you have anything to say about her? Yes, she's been absolutely amazing and wonderful because uh, you know she supported me 100%. Uh, I mean, she gave me a standing ovation after the 10th episode. By the way, I just wanted to say that. Uh, I think there's a lot of trust on both sides. I think she trusts me as a storyteller very much. I trust her as a producer. She's got my back. uh you know you can see the production value on it you can see the effort that has gone into the writing into the you know she's she's just she's been wonderful that you know i i think there's a lot of trust on both sides all right so as we know that you have directed bollywood movies as well yes. before so any future plans of course yeah. i have a three film contract with yashraj i've made two films so i'm going to be making another film in the near future hopefully next year or two uh trying to find that script working on a two three scripts so whichever one my producer and i like the most we'll go with it okay so uh, would we see ekta as a producer for that uh, for your future i mean why not we've had such a wonderful experience working together i'm sure we're going to do something again in uh, in the near future yeah all right thank you so thank much thank you so much thank all the best for you thank you thank you thank you